Hey guys, last week I showed you how to make this base. It is very easy to put together and it is rock solid. I mean, it is just not able to be moved. Now this week, I've taken that concept of using suction cups to a wall, well actually a wall board that I've mounted on the wall, and made this, which I call the Culus Boxing Trainer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. It's dead easy. Check it out. The basis for this project is this wall bag that I made a few weeks ago. I'll put a link in the description to that video. So I'm not gonna cover it all in this video. If you wanna see the details, go to that video, how to make a wall punching bag on my channel. All I've done here though is I've extended these ears to be about five inches in length this way, right? And then three and a half inches in width. And that's what you need to be able to attach your three quarter inch flanges on either side. So pretty much the same wall bag, wall punching bag, but with extended ears and these flanges. Now the plywood board that I'm using is half an inch thick. And that's important because the double suction cups fit perfectly onto it just like that. Now I've had to put a little bit of foam padding. It's just a thin padding of foam you can get in most hardware stores. You can use this foam as well. It enables a nice tight fit when you put that on and you engage the suction cups on the wall. Now one more important thing I need to mention is when you're putting on the flanges, the three quarter inch flange onto the board, make sure you bolt it on rather than using screws. Screws will come off, they will not hold. So you need to use bolts to bolt these things on. Now to mount your Culus Cobra Spring, the Pro Spring, you need these three quarter pipes, three quarter inch pipes, and they go into your flanges. You just need about four inches of pipe, so just small ones like this. Remember, the outer diameter of the pipe cannot exceed 1.05 inches. It's about 1.05, 1.06 inches. When you're buying these, make sure you check, otherwise your spring will not fit onto them. And then you just screw them into the sides, just like that. And then you can mount your springs. Now for the bags themselves, for the Cobra bags, the side bags, I've used 11 inches of PVC pipe with the pull noodles, like I've showed you in the other videos on how to make a Cobra bag. So that is sufficient enough for what you're gonna need them for. And that goes into your spring. You'll need two of these and then mount them onto the three quarter inch sections of pipe. To hold the pipe in place, the PVC pipe, I'm just using one of these butterfly clamps, hose clamps. Similarly, on this side, when I mount it onto the three quarter inch pipe, a hose clamp's gonna hold it in place. Now, to be able to hang this thing on a wall, I've attached this panel to one of my walls. And this is basically a chip wood, about three quarter inch thick. And you can use any sort of size that you can, you can find that's suitable for what you're gonna need. And I've put little rubber feet on the back to absorb some of the shock but I've screwed it in using six screws and now it's nice and firm in place on that wall. Now I can use suction cups to attach various apparatus. So for example, I can use the suction cup Cobra base to attach it straight here and have a Cobra punching bag coming straight out of the wall. Now I've done that in the past. Check out my videos if you've missed that one. Now mounting this thing, can be quite easy if you get yourself one of these brackets and a strap. Now you don't need a bracket, you could have a little hook at the top. Basically you need to just be able to hang it. So I use that bracket because it fits in right behind. It's got a hole there for the strap to go through and a hole at the top of the board to which this is attached. So now that I've hung it up there, Number one, it's not gonna fall if the suction cups disengage. And number two, it makes it really easy to mount. All I need to do now 
is put the suction cups in one on this side and then one on the other side and then engage the suction cups one at a time and Bob's your uncle okay so what's so good about the Kulis boxing trainer well for one it's all the different combinations that you can put into it so you can punch it from all different sides you can use these as arms that you're trying to go around over or underneath punch underneath So when you're doing your hooks or uppercuts but then it really comes in when you're starting to lay it to the side so then you can move you know around punch from here punch from there so you might do one one two uppercut one one two uppercut left uppercut one one two on this side so I reckon it's really good. I love it. I love working out with it. Hopefully you guys can make one of these. It's not hard to make, but it makes for a really good training apparatus. If you're into boxing, one of these can help you improve your skills, improve your technique, your combinations, working those. But it's also just great for fitness at home, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun to work out with. Now, next week, guys, more to come on printing components including a spring yeah i'm gonna print a cobra spring in fact i'm already printing it right now it's getting printed i want to see if i can print a cobra spring using composite material what are the benefits of that well then i can print components straight onto the spring i don't have to have all these other components that fit into it or the spring to slide onto something the spring will simply screw onto a three quarter inch pipe and that's huge plus the advantage of making stuff from composites is I can make it as hard as I want soft as I want change the dynamics and I've got a lot to play around with so next week components that I'm gonna print many of the components will I'll make available as I have already so you can print those if you do have a 3d printer but predominantly, this is for me to be able to prototype these things and I'm going to show you how I do it so that you can follow me along in my process to making one of the best boxing cobras in the world. Now stick around guys, tick the bell, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Let's do it. <music>